In this study, we evaluated six hybrids we planted at four planting dates uh, from the uh, middle of May to the, uh, Ju until the July 1st with every two weeks interval. So which means our first planting date is May 15th, then June 1st, June 15th, and July 1st. So um, we have six hybrids is anywhere the maturity uh, lengths from 115 days to 100 days to 95 days. Uh, we have six hybrids with different this uh, maturity days. So the, the, the over we, we want to look at this the hybrids and the planting date how they are interact to identify a best treatment to reduce the uh, irrig use the as less as irrigation water as possible will sustain the green yield as well as maximize the water use efficiency. Uh, based on last year's results, uh, because this year we we haven't get the final uh, data, we collect the data not not analyzed yet. Based on last year's uh, data, if you if you plant it early with the long season hybrids, you are look at the total water use is about 35 inches. If you plant it late. Uh, it's normally it's, you, you look at the end of the June, you look at it somewhere around 26 inches of total water. So this total water use includes the uh, uh, rainfall as well as irrigation as, and the soil water. If you only talk about the irrigation water, compare your the earliest planting and the uh, latest planting, the irrigation water differences can be up to six inches. Uh, like this year, with a very good precipitation, you, you probably can delay the irrigation at least two or three times, which easily can add up to up to the six inch of irrigation water savings. Uh, if you count your pumping costs, that will be lots of savings. In terms of yield, uh, of course, if you, if you want to plant early, use you the long season hybrids. If you plant late, probably the short season will provide better benefit because the short season hybrids still can get the. Uh, uh, it's have lower yield potential but still can give you about 150 bushels uh, corn however you use probably uh, you use five to six le uh, uh, inches of less of irrigation water to grow this corn uh, also the short season is also give you some operation benefit you uh, it is in addition to receive the irrigation water, you also have some other flexibility in terms of your, your operation. Of course, last thing, if you look at your well, it's kind of low, low capacity. Probably the only way you can do is grow some short season corn if you still want grown corn. If your well is, the, the, your, if your well capacity is low, if your well capa capacity low, the best ban uh, best strategy is to use the uh, uh, trying to best use of the natural rainfall as well as your irrigation water and your soil water storage. That's the the, 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 the overall objective objective of this study. This is the second year study. Uh, we will summarize the data uh, by the end of the season to see. How the ye uh, how different years, how they are responding in different years, as well as the planting date as the, uh, the the hybrids, we can identify the best hybrids to recommend to the producer. This is a long season. At very late planting on July first planting. So today you 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 can see this one is already matured, with stent is should be ready to combine. 
this one probably still have a few more days to go. Uh, keep in mind this year all the uh, corn is, uh, is matured late because we have cool and the moist, cool temperature and uh, the moist soil this year. So if you, if you look at the regular year like 2012, this probably already matured in uh, two weeks earlier. 